What is up everyone, JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited and happy to bring you the latest installment of my Instagram post or my everyday Instagram post. And today I'm gonna to start it off with a sample of what it is that I'm talking about. So here's an actual picture that I posted on Instagram and a little bit different this week as well. In this carry that I posted on this particular day, I did couple my Seiko 5 automatic with my Benchmade bug out, Fisher Space Pen, and Olight. I have all that in the organizer, matching it up with the watch, and I have two wallets. I have another one on the way from Redeemed Creation. It's the minimalist wallet. Um, I have some I have space for some cards in the middle, a little cash in the front little pouch, and then there's a it wraps around on the back, on the back side of the pouch. I keep ID and like my debit card to my bank. So I really like that wallet. It has helped me minimize and uh, slim down so I can make room for the other important gear that you see here in this picture. So again, this is just an example of a photo. I wanted to share just a very simple layout, really just showcasing what my pocket check for that day was. So having said that, if you're enjoying this content and you find it entertaining or enjoy living vicariously through other Instagrammers that share pictures of their gear that you may not have, may not have heard of and or seen, or perhaps in my case, there's quite a few out there that I just can't get a hold of and or can't really afford. Do me a favor, <laughs> leave a like and consider subscribing. I, totally up to you, but I'd love to have you follow along as I try to go to the grow the channel and to show my appreciation when I get to that 800 subscriber milestone and then again at the 1,000 subscriber milestone, I'm going to do some giveaways. It's going to be a little bit of a smaller giveaway at the 800 because that'll kind of, in my opinion, put us more or less at the halfway mark of getting to 1,000 at the time of this video and then at the thousand which is my big milestone for the early part of this year i'd like to try to get there before march if we can do that before march i'm going to make it a really cool giveaway that i'm going to do for the thousand um don't forget to turn on those notifications if you do decide to subscribe that's how you get the alerts whenever the new content drops and let's go ahead and jump into the actual carries uh everyday carry pocket checks from instagram that i want to feature this week First up is going to be Conduit EDC, or is it Conduit A EDC? Uh, I'm not 100% sure. And I am not 100% sure the language of this particular YouTube, but that's really not neither here nor there. I really liked this because it feels very industrial. He's got the Cold Steel Recon 1. And I think he's got skateboard tape on it. But if you're familiar with the Recon 1, do me a favor in the comment, let me know. Because if that is skate tape, he did, or whoever did it, did a fantastic job setting it up. It looks really cool. I think it's very interesting. He's got something that I actually personally use a lot around the shop, whether it be uh, running some wiring for, you know, doing uh, stereo install on a vehicle in the shop or if I'm working on mountain bike stuff and sometimes I zip tie things together before I use a little hook and loop to put it to the frame of the mountain bike so this here that he has zip tie the zip ties bound together with the rubber bands which I think both of them are actually something that you could use on a daily basis both the rubber band and the zip tie then he's got a little bit of paracord hooked up flashlight so he can see what he's doing and he's got a Leatherman Surge really nice shot very functional carry i thought this was pretty sweet to see so if you enjoyed that and uh you're on instagram and you like to have this show up in your feed go over there and look at i'm thinking it's con conduit edc or conduit a edc all right up next we have edc.engineer i really didn't intend to pick out the industrial ones i just think that it showed up in my feed this way so i really did um, I really do like the industrial carry. I feel like it's very functional. I feel like the build is purpose built with the intent of covering their needs. This one here, he has the Maxpedition. I want to say this looks like the micro, basing that on the fact that it looks like he has an i3 TOS on the left there with 
I'm not sure if that's a Fisher pin, like the long version of the Fisher pin, but he does have a pin there. Um, he's got a carabiner and a Sharpie. So interesting, he has the pin and the Sharpie. I wonder what he does. Not quite sure what's in that plastic container. I'm wondering if it's like a container that has some toothpicks or if it's just something that I can't recognize and I don't see hashtagged out in this picture. He has a Gerber, I wanna say, I'm not sure which one that is. And it's covered up, so I really can't tell you which one it is. If you know, again, in the comments, you guys, if you wanna help me out with which one that is, so that anyone else checking out can confirm in case they're interested in it, I'd appreciate the help out there. And then it looks like he has a Swiss Army knife, and I want to say that's a lighter, but it says clipper on it. So not 100% sure. What's also really cool about this industrial shot is he has it on top of a vise on a bench with a bunch of equipment in the background. So you can tell he's definitely working with his hands with whatever it is that he is doing. Again, awesome shot. If you like it, want to see him in your feed. He has very interesting feed, I feel like, and it is edc.engineer. So give him a follow and uh, let's go on and move into the next one. I've had him on here uh, before and I, I, do, I don't do it intentionally, but I kind of do because we interact a little bit more than the rest of the ones that I'm kind of following from time to time. There's a little bit of a comment, but Farqui8 and I pretty much interact daily. And what he did in January, which I thought was really, really cool. What a great idea. He did a complete rotation through his entire EDC without repeating until he completed getting every one of them in a carry. So I thought that was really cool because I think sometimes if you're like me, you kind of gravitate towards a specific knife or something that you either recently got or really excited about or something that you really enjoy carrying a lot more or maybe not a lot more maybe a little bit more than some of your other carries but i thought that was really cool i'm not sure if it was a challenge if it is a new challenge going around but i was like man that's a really cool idea just go through your entire inventory all right rambling out he has the civivi elementum with the micardo handles he's got the fisher space pen he's got his um, pocket trash micarta square on top of his fisherman's edc hank i think that's a mini pineapple that he has there i like those a lot i like the way that they're ribbed i feel like they would have superb ergonomics because of that and then he has an alox swiss army knife all set up on like a reclaimed wood surface it looks like or worn wood surface i'm not really sure which one it is but really cool carry elementum is a fantastic EDC if you're really not sure what to carry and you're just looking for one knife that just kind of meets some very basic needs you know opening letters packages cutting string maybe some zip tie here and there um, but you know just basic pocket knife needs this is a really good one to pick up again Farqui8 I really like his feed and again he usually complements his pictures with multiple shots so you might see that he takes multiple shots of the gear so that you could kind of see it from different angles, which I think is really awesome because sometimes I want to see it from more than just the show side. I want to see what that pocket clip's looking like and if you have something different than what comes with it on there. And sometimes he does something with the scenery. So I believe he's into flowers. I've seen him post like how his flowers are doing, but because obviously we're in the winter months, he's now doing some scenic shots. I appreciate that because sometimes it's nice as you're going through the feed to kind of swipe and see what else people are posting in there on their feed. Anyway, Farqui8 over there on Instagram, had him on here before, really cool carry, awesome. Give him a follow. Next, I have, <laughs> I have Kareen Jacobson. Sorry about the grunt on here again so i try i'm trying not to repeat but she has a chris reeves and kosi and i really like the Encosi. my only pick on her would be it's the tonto and you know what it might suit her needs but i feel like a reverse tonto or you know his drop point or his version of the warning would probably be a little bit better from an EDC perspective, but I am not mad at her because she got one and it 
it looks great. I don't even care that it's the basic. Now, I'm not sure if the Nkosi comes, I mean, the Umanzan. I've been saying the Nkosi, holy crap, the Umanzan. And I'm not sure if the Umanzan comes with this hardware stock or if she picked up some aftermarket hardware. If there's anyone out there more familiar with Chris Reeve knives, if you could let me know, I really, I really am interested because I would imagine when you spend this much money on a knife, you don't want to avoid the warranty. And I don't know if you can throw aftermarket stuff on there. And I've know I've done a lot of reading and watching videos on reviews of Chris Reeve knives, and I know that they have pokey thumb studs, etc. Now I believe this wallet is really cool, and I didn't realize it until I saw something else of hers come up on a feed after I had gotten this screen grab. But I think, I think she actually makes these wallets and if that's the case that's really cool i know it's hard to tell from here but it's it's a fold over and it has snaps and i like the worn material and everything that she's got and she's got a mighty hanks underneath and she's got a small swiss army knife with a really cool bead so really fantastic shot i like this a lot again nice umanzad really jealous because it's cold and she's poolside wherever she's at it's warm damn you all right, if you like that one, go ahead and give Kareem Jacobson a follow. And we are going on to the next one. And I believe this is the last one. Hey, I'm doing really good this week, guys. I'm barely over 10 minutes, and I bet once I edit some of the mistakes out, <laughs> it's going to be a short video, which is all I really want to do. I just want to have some fun with this and kind of go through your feeds or go through some folks feeds i don't know if anybody on here sees me or follows me over on instagram or not but if you do and you, it's your feed put it out there because i think some shots are really really cool all right the sharp fox edc really awesome carry here just a simple shot of his fox shuro i'm not 100 percent sure i'm not as familiar with fox knives but i think this is the Shuro. I would get really confused because it's hard to tell the size and the short blade is really what's throwing me off. But it has the fat carbon and it's really well done for fat carbon. And I know I'm on a little bit of a kick lately. I know here I got um, the uh, Endemco 80 20.5 that has the fat carbon on there. And then I have that dark dark matter carbon fiber on my Shaman. And it's uh, it's really interesting to see what they're doing with it. It's very, very far removed from the twilled and very exciting and different and i like the fact that it's lightweight and sturdy don't know what the stone is that he has on it but i think it looks fantastic and um just a really cool carry and i'm very interested in fox it looks like that thumb hold really really functional um it looks like a very small edc with a finger choil so this feels like it'd be like a mini pocket tank so that's what i really like about that particular one anyway that's it for this week guys Kept, kept it short and sweet, trying to limit the number of pictures that I'm throwing out here e each week. Uh, if you guys are enjoying it, again, if you could leave a like, it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. And if you like this type of content, think about subscribing. I really would enjoy having you follow along as I try to grow the channel. And uh, I'm going to do something special to thank you for all the support because, you know, you don't have to. I know that you choose to, and hopefully you're enjoying the content and the interaction and uh, how I'm reviewing things and looking at things. I I'm hoping that all of it is very entertaining and somewhat informative at times. And I do do mods. I have some other mods coming up. I enjoy them. There are some knives that I won't touch. <clears throat> and then I have a lot of budget knives that I'm not af afraid to experiment on. And, uh, you know, I have some mechanical background. Uh, I've worked on a lot of cars. I do a lot of the work on my mountain bikes myself. So sometimes it involves customization, which is why I have that natural curiosity to do some customization, whether it be buying something that is professionally made and having it installed to customize it and make it my, myself, which if you're a car person, you know that's the aftermarket mods, right? On a vehicle, very similar. This is just a pocket clip, but I think it really just looks fantastic. It removed the Spider Co logo on there and it looks really, really good. So, uh, you know, that's just an example of some stuff that I'm talking about. But if you've seen my mod videos, you know, my bug out, uh, my uh, CJRB Scoria and my Tucson, I've done some mods on. And I found tools to help me do those mods a little bit easier and a little bit more precise in the future. But I'm not afraid to do that on some of my more budget related stuff, especially if it's going to make an enhancement that I really like. Did not mean to get off on a tangent. Please think about subscribing. Don't let that discourage you. <laughs> 
I hope all of you have a fantastic week. I seriously mean it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all of the support. And I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.